Managing your Docker environment can be daunting. Docker was made for the command line and visualizing the overview of your deployment is best done with pictures. While there are many tools to do this, Container Census is one of my favorites. In this video, I will be deploying Container Census on TrueNAS and showing you how it helps me manage the more than 70 Docker containers I have running. This video was voted on over the weekend on the Service at Home Discord. If you'd like to cast your vote, make sure you've joined the server. If you have not, there's an invite link in the description below. I'm your host, Evan. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is create a data set for Container Census to live in. On the left, I'm gonna click my Data Sets tab, then click my Configs tab, and in the top right, click the blue button to add a data set. I'm gonna call this Census. Leave the data set preset as generic and click Save. When the warning comes up, click Return to Pool List. In the bottom right, click Edit in the Permissions box. On the Group line, click the middle checkbox to give it Read, Write, and Execute, and then uncheck the other two boxes on the other line. Change your group from root to apps. Check the box that says apply group and then click save. Now let's deploy the app. Go to my wiki and in the top search for census. Click the result. In section one, deploy container census. Go ahead and copy the entire Docker compose file. Jump over to your Dockage interface. In the top left, click compose to start a new stack. Give the stack a name. Remove all the placeholder information on the right and paste the Docker Compose file. We're gonna make a couple quick changes in this setup. You can see in the environment, the auth is false and the auth username and password are asking you to set them here. If you wanna have authorization, set this to true and set a secure username and password and change your time zone to something more appropriate. Now let's click deploy. Click the pill for 8080 and it will open up the container census dashboard. We can see it is running on one host right now, hosting 86 total containers of which 78 are running and one is stopped. This overview shows my containers by state, the host that I have it running on right now, and some of the recent containers I have up. On the left side, we can see my containers by clicking the containers tab. I can search these containers by name, filter them by the host they're running on, or I can filter them by the state that they're in. Right now it's listed as a table, but if I click the cards tab over here in the top right, it'll list it by cards. When I list it by cards, I get a little bit more information, like being able to see a CPU and memory resource usage chart on the bottom of each container. I also get to see things like the image it's running, the port it's running on. I can search the container for the wiki. The wiki is existing in two different containers. One is wiki.js and the other one is the database backend. I can see that the wiki is using approximately 0% CPU and about 281 megabytes of memory. When I click the logs button, it'll pull up all the logs of the wiki. This is only pulling the last 100 lines as to not overwhelm the interface, but I can change that and go up to a thousand lines if I want to. I can look at the stats by clicking the stats button. And right now, because I've just started this, it doesn't have any historical usage of this Wiki.js container. When I click history, we can see there's been two total events. We have a last seen and first seen event. Container census can run on more than one host. And when I click the host in the left side, I can see right now it's running on my local TrueNAS server, but I can go ahead and add more hosts by using the plus add host button in the top right. On the integration side, on the left, I have a security tab. The security tab has a built-in vulnerability scanner. The vulnerability scanner says that it has scanned 12 images, which has 59 critical vulnerabilities, 718 high and 10 at-risk images affected. As I scroll down, I can look at critical severities or high severities. This part of the app probably needs a little bit more work. I don't actually believe that I have 59 critical and 718 high vulnerabilities. If I look at the self-hosters container census latest image, it's listing itself as a critical error. In this case, it found 67 critical vulnerabilities in itself. On the graph tab, let's zoom in here. Image is running off four containers plus a database right now, all of which are networked together on the image default network. And that's what we're seeing here. When I click fit to view, I can see all of my Docker containers. The very top box allows us to install external plugins from the GitHub repository. Container Census gives us an amazing view into our Docker deployment. As you can see, even managing 86 containers can be done pretty simply using the dashboards and all the tabs available on Container Census. If you're using something else to monitor your Docker deployment, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe. If you want to have a longer conversation with us about this video, please jump on our Discord server where we can have a proper conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always, stay curious.